Hey, haven't seen you in a while. Am I filming a third intro in this exact same spot? Yes, I am, because that is how much we've gotten done today. Today, we are going to be doing a redecorate with me. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I get so antsy with my decor and I always wanna be changing things up. I've also noticed that while I love some new decor setups at first, they eventually start to feel like clutter to me. That is my sign that it is time to redecorate and today I wanted to take you guys along with me. We're not doing anything major, but I really wanted to take you guys along to make a few of these changes to the apartment. So without further ado, let's get started. Let me just take you guys on a little tour of what we're working with. It is stressing me out so bad and I want to redecorate so bad so that way I feel a little bit more motivated to like clean and cook and do all the things. So first of all, uh, remember whenever I did a cleaning video, completely cleaning out this entryway? Well yeah, we're back at it again and it's destroyed. Scout loves it though. Um, we just have stuff spilling over everywhere from like all of the things. Like we've got some stuff for our new house there, baby stuff laundry i tried to get some holiday pillows but it's just stressing me out like it does not look good i can't figure it out that is from the gender reveal like we can't have a blue ikea bag up there forever i've got to take that out and style it and do the whole nine so i know that if i like maybe hang this picture and put some of this stuff out and if i can kind of get rid of the visual clutter tackle some laundry apparently you're just going to redecorate with me amidst the chaos because if you know you know Having a freshly decorated apartment that I love and am obsessed with motivates me more than I can describe. So anyways, let's just move a couple of things around. I don't know how far I'm gonna take this, but we'll see when I'm no longer down and I'll stop. primarily going to focus on the kitchen island because I got a huge new charcuterie board. I think you can see it kind of right here, but I think I want to have that out and then put stuff on top of it and redo how the kitchen is currently set up. So let's see what we can make of this. This is, I think, for the nursery in our new house, but it's so big um, and I don't want it to be ruined by storing it. So I think it'd be really pretty right here because I'm getting new photos for all of our frames anyways. So let's try it. 
Last time I did this, I swallowed a nail, and I was in the emergency chair. decorating video to a close but I just got this for Christmas and I think I want to put it on the island look how beautiful she is let's see that is so cute I have to say this might be my favorite redecorate with me I've ever done. I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of all the things that we have redecorated and moved around. I'm so excited about it. I just filmed a deep clean with me and gave an overview of what the apartment is looking like right now post clean with me, but I wanted to take a minute to show you guys what each little area is looking like that we redecorated because believe it or not, you're probably not surprised. I've changed a few things since then because it's literally always changing and evolving. So I'm just going to do a quick overview of what everything is looking like. I'm going to start off with the first thing that you see when you walk in. That's this huge cutting board that I just picked up from one of my favorite stores. Sorry if you can hear the construction in the background, but on top of this cutting board, I just have some Christmas gifts that I just received from my mother-in-law. These are all from, I think, Studio McGee. I just know, I know that they're Target. And then I have my Magnolia Table Cookbook with, of course, my heart and hand cookbook holder these are my pioneer woman knives and then i just have my hearth and hand flour and sugar set up here i love the way that this turned out i feel like it's practical and aesthetic so i'm really liking that this is what this is looking like we just got still our paper towels and then hand soap and dish soap right here but this little section over here is new i love the way that this turned out again practical but cute this is all my essential oil stuff back here some utensils, salt cellar, and then some salt and pepper on top of this really cute serving tray from Target as well. And then this lamp was also a Christmas gift from my father-in-law. And I have been eyeing this lamp for so long. I was like, let me just put it on my Christmas list and see. And of course, his the best and most thoughtful and got it for me. I was so excited when I opened this. And then I also hung this photo from Hobby Lobby up here. I did have some stacked photos going on right here which was great for a while, but it was feeling cluttered and I needed to change. This corner is definitely my favorite and at night, this is so cozy. I'll insert a picture of what this looks like at night. It is so cute. And the lighting that this lamp brings is so warm and so good. So I love the way that that turned out. I didn't include this side of the kitchen in the video because it's more of like a practical move around. It's not really redecorate. For now, these are kind of odds and ends that I don't know where else to put. So I tried to style them here. I moved our blender because Jameson has a really cool new coffee and cocktail setup that I'm super excited about. But this is some of the new cocktail stuff that we got. And then we have some new coffee stuff and we have a cocktail smoker coming in today. So that's all gonna go in this corner. And I like that it's all like in one little area for all of our drinks. There's a couple of other things that we changed over here in the office area. First, I moved some stuff around on top of the hutch and I love the way that this turned out. I moved these two baskets over here and I moved the stacked photos to the top of the hutch, which I think looks really good and it fills up the space a ton. And then we changed around this wall. As you saw, I had two framed photos there, which I still love and want to move them elsewhere, but I just thought that this was a little bit more impactful and I really wanted to get it hung because it's one of my new favorite pieces. I also have a gender reveal prep video coming on how we decorated for our gender reveal and these two flower arrangements were 
two of the biggest things that I DIY'd for the gender reveal and I really want to repurpose them for the baby shower and maybe even in our house. So for now, I wanted to store them safe and sound up there where my cat can't get them and then that's just next to a basket that my sister-in-law got me. Last but certainly not least, I have added this rug to our living room, but I didn't take the other one out. I actually layered them, which I didn't do the typical layering style that people usually go for because what I really wanted to achieve was just a longer rug, but I didn't want to go purchase a huge one right now because I don't know what I want. So this is a rug that we got for Baby Boy's Nursery. And so um, I was like, I don't have anywhere to put it. I might as well layer it. So now the rug jets out a lot further into the couch back there, whereas before the pink rug stopped right here. So it didn't go really under the couch at all. And these pieces slid all over the place. So. I just added this on top so that way this is still the only rug that you really see but that rug is layered underneath for practicality purposes and just to make the space feel a little bit more put together i guess because the rug looks a lot bigger and i believe that, that is the last thing that we added in the redecorate with me thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed all the new little touches that we've added throughout if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below and i will see you in my next video oh my god <laughs> what? Oh, excuse me. If you know, you know. It just remotivates you. Remotivates you? It just motivates me.